Well, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today it's extra windy and dusty out here. Go figure. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, we got a customer that uh, wanted a couple of uh, eight by eight beams, about 10 feet long. So we got some timber loaded up and we're gonna cut them up and see if we can get those done for today. Uh, if the wind don't blow us away, there we have the first one eight by eight it's a uh, it's a true eight by eight um, now there's a I mean she was close the log just almost wasn't big enough you see a little bark on the roll over here um, but he's not gonna he's not gonna care about that at all so if the project he's using it on that's not gonna affect nothing so he'll be pleased with that. It'll work just fine. It's a good solid timber. I mean, that is a solid, solid beam. <clears throat> so looking good on to the next one. All right, we got the second log loaded up. It's not quite as good of a log, but like I said, for his project, you know, he's got a lot of leeway on quality, but it'll still turn out a pretty nice beam. It'll crack, but it's all right. See what happens. Okay, we got that one sawed up. You can tell we got quite a bit more live edge on this one, but it's going to be just fine for what he's after. Let's go ahead and flip it over and give him a better view of what we got going on here. See, I mean, it'll be just fine. It's not perfect, but it's perfect for him. And sorry about this wind again. It's just something we got to deal with all the time out here on this butte. But anyways, we got a couple two buys to cut and get them cut. And See what happens. Coming back.
Well, there's that lock. We got a bunch of slabs out of that one. Two two by sixes and one four by four. It was it was a pretty bunky log, you know, and it had some uh, some real bad spots in it. So we didn't get a whole lot of good timber, but we got a few pieces, better than nothing, and some old leftover slabs to, to work on our shed with. Um, however, it's going to go okay.